In the last video, we saw that even though we'd done an exchange partition, the query kept on running. The database managed to find the data from the exchange partition and keep on executing the query. The question of course is, is what if we went ahead and did something with that partition that's now a standalone table? So as we did in the last video, we've created our table called T once again from scratch. Four partitions, four million rows in each partition, and we're going to get the maximum value of Y from T, which means we have to scan all four partitions. In the last video, we just exchanged the partition out. This time we're going to exchange that partition out with TX, and then we're going to truncate it. So effectively, those rows that the query was after will now be gone. Let's see what happens. So we get ready to run our query, and go, and bang. And you can see, now when the database was trying to find that partition that had been exchanged out, the data was gone. And we get the familiar error, ORA 8103 object no longer exists. So if you're seeing ORA 8103, it probably means you've got partition maintenance operations going on, or truncates going on, while you've got queries running at the same time. And there you go.